Hello, welcome to Training Mugs Java Coding Challenges Series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge, that is finding sum of factors for a given number. Now, let us understand the logic. First, we'll understand what is the definition of factor of a given number. Example, suppose if I take a number called 10, now let us understand what are the factors. So from number, from one to till that number, we need to check whether any number can divide this particular number or not. Example, suppose you take one. So if you multiply one into 10, then it will give you that actual number. So I can say that for 10, the factors if you write now, one is going to be a factor because if something is multiplied with one, it is now going to give you 10. And similarly, if you take two, two into mu multiplied with five, then it is going to give you 10. Then I can say two is also a factor for 10. But when you say three, three, if you multiply with anything, so it does not going to give you 10. So we cannot say three is a factor. Like that four also will not be a factor. Now let us take five. Five into two, then it will give you 10. Then I can say five is a factor. Then similarly, six is not going to be a factor. Seven also it's not going to be a factor. Eight also is not going to be a factor. Nine also is not going to be a factor. But 10 if you take, because 10 into one, that will give you 10. So I can say that 10 is also the factor for 10. So we know that universally one and then the number itself are the factors. So we need to check from two to the number minus one whether each number is divisible by the 10 or not. So programmatically, how we are going to find out the factor. So we know that from one, two to the number, we need to check whether this number is divisible by that number or not. So if I say 10 reminder one, the uh, reminder is going to be zero. Similarly, 10 reminder two, the reminder is going to be zero. If I say that 10 reminder three, reminder is not going to zero, then I can not say three is a factor. Like that, I need to run this loop till 10 reminder 10. If this is zero, then I can say it is a prime number. Now our code is to find out all the prime numbers, uh, sorry, all factors of a given number, and then we need to calculate the sum. Now in this going to be, uh, in this example, the sum is going to be one plus two plus five plus 10 which the output is going to be 18. So this is what the logic is all about. So let us write the program for this. So let me open the Eclipse. So now I'm going to create a new Java class. So right click on my package. I'm now creating a class. Now I'm giving this class name as sum of factors of a given number. So I'm selecting my main method, click on finish. So I'm deleting this line. So now here, I'll take that number as an input. So to take an input, we require a scanner class. So I'm now initializing my scanner object. So scanner scanner is equal to new scanner of system data, in. So let me import my scanner class. Now here for an acknowledgement, I'm now going to print. So enter the number. So I'll say enter the number to which you want to find out the sum of factors. Now this number I'm taking into a variable integer number. So using scanner.nextint, I'm going to take the number. So now what I'm going to do. So now I need to run a loop and then have to check. So here you can do it in while loop. You can do it in do while or you can use it in for. So now I'm going to take for uh, just simplified. So I'm going to take a, a index uh, in a variable i is equal to one. Then I'm going to say i less than or equal to number and then i plus plus so now what we are going to do is if the number divisible by i is equal to zero then we need to perform the sum so every factor so now i now will become a factor so if you want to add it every time so that should be a variable called sum so i'm now taking a variable in sum is equal to zero in shali so now i'm going to say sum is equals to sum plus i so now i is equal to one, that is a factor. So zero plus one, now some value is going to be one. 
and next time i will be incremented so now if number is remainder 0 then sum will be assigned uh, uh, will be added to this i like that every factor i will be assigned uh, will be added to the sum variable so finally this is what our result is going to be so after the execution of this first statement now i can print that system that out that print ln now sum of factors of 10 is so plus sum so this is what our logic is so now let me run my program so once i ask it it will ask you to enter the number let me take the number as 10 now it is now going to give you 18 so if you want to find out the other number so just let take let me give 120 so whatever the factors that will come and then it is going to print the sum of factors so if you want to print the factor now if the remainder is zero now it is going to be a factor so if you want to print that factor now i'm going to print within that uh, same line so instead of using print ln i'll use print now i now will become a factor so what we do is i'll just put a space uh, a separator and after this loop ends because the system that out that print will print everything within the same line so i'm going to write print ln here just to separate so when you run your program now let me take 10 again so if i run my program it says that 1 2 5 10 are the factors for 10 the sum is going to be 18 so when you're going to run this then let me take another number 120 then it says that these are what the factors for the given 120 and then the sum of all these numbers is going to be 360 so this is what the logic of finding sum of factors for a particular given number